Hello everyone, I'm Tony Lee Peters, how are you? I hope you're very well. I'm very well, thank you for asking. So today I would like to talk about something called urge surfing. Now urge surfing is a mindfulness technique that was created by the late psychologist Dr. Marlatt, who used to be the former director of the Addictive Behaviour Research Centre in Washington. And urge surfing has been used really successfully around the world with countless people who are suffering with uh, addiction, whether that's addict to addiction to alcohol, to uh, drugs, sex, chocolate. Uh, you can also use this technique and adapt it to any kind of like negative urges that you might have in life. What are urges? Well, urges typically come from uh, triggering events or situations, people, and obviously from addiction. And if you are suffering with addiction, or even if you're in recovery, then you're coming from the belief that whatever it is that you're addicted to is actually the best way for you to cope with your problems. And unfortunately, this adds power to your triggers and to the urges. So the first thing to do is to identify and acknowledge your triggers. So look at all the different things that could trigger you, that could trigger an urge. And then once you've looked at all your different triggers, the different people that may trigger you, the different events, situations, emotions, look at ways on how you can reduce your exposure to those triggers. But even though we may be able to reduce our triggers, we are still going to get some urges. So urge surfing is a really good way of being able to ride out the wave of the urge because urges peak and fall a little bit like waves. Uh, urges can start quite slowly and then they can in, uh, increase in intensity. Uh, and then they can die back down or they can really peak and crash. So urge surfing is a way of looking at urges a little bit like waves. And this is the idea of urge surfing, literally riding out the urge. One of the things that I really like about urge surfing is that it helps you to look at each urge with curiosity rather than with hopelessness. It kind of te it teaches you to be in control of your urge rather than be completely powerless to them. So here's the technique for urge surfing. I'll explain the technique to you and then I will do a uh, brief demonstration so you can uh, clearly see how you can uh, perform urge surfing on yourself. So when you feel the urge to do whatever it is that you don't want to do, try to uh, recognize where in the body you are feeling your urge. So some people can feel urges in their mouth, some people might feel an urge in their stomach, their chest, or in their foreheads. So focus on that part of the body. And then really look into the different uh, physical sensations that you can feel. So perhaps you can feel pain in that area of your body. Or maybe you feel emptiness. Uh, or some people can identify a feeling of pressure or like a tickling feeling, a tingling kind of feeling. Look at all the different physical sensations that you can feel in that part of the body and also consider things like um, how how warm or how cold does the urge feel some people report their urges to feel really hot uh, sometimes it can be quite cold or a cooling feeling identify as many different physical uh, sensations as you can regarding your urge now, sometimes when you do this, you will feel the urge move to other parts of your body. So follow the urge wherever it goes and then apply everything that I've just spoken about to the new area of your body. So again, investigate all the different physical sensations in this new uh, area of your body. And then you're going to turn your attention to your breath. So for between 60 and 120 seconds, so between a minute and two minutes, you're going to focus on your breath. So you've taken your focus away from your body and you're now focusing on your breath. You are not trying to change your breath. Uh, you don't need to be breathing deeply or doing any kind of like special breathing technique. You're purely observing your breathing. And the best way to do this is to uh, mentally say inhale when you're inhaling or exhale when you're exhaling. So it's about really focusing your attention on your breath. You're now taking your focus away from your urge 
and you're focusing on the calmness or the steadiness, the routineness of your breath. And now you're going to turn your attention back to your body and you're going to scan your body and see where the urge is in your body. Perhaps it's in the same place. Perhaps it doesn't feel as strong. Perhaps it feels stronger. Perhaps it's moved somewhere else. But you're going to apply the same technique as before. So you're going to look at all the different physical sensations that you can feel in whatever part of your body the urge has traveled to. And then once you've done this, you're then going to direct your attention again to your breath for another 60 to 120 seconds, being mindful of when you inhale and when you exhale and just recognizing the inhalation and the exhalation, the natural flow of your own breathing pattern. And you continue to practice this technique. So focusing on the bodily sensations of the urge and then directing your attention to your breath. You keep doing that until you feel that the urge is beginning to subside. And it's as easy as that. It does sound easy, but in reality, when you have an urge and you're trying to ride out the urge, it can take some practice uh, to get to the point where you are successfully able to ride out the urge. So I'm going to give you a quick demonstration now uh, of the technique. So I, at the moment, am feeling an urge to eat some chocolate and I feel it in my stomach. I feel an emptiness that needs to be filled by chocolate. Uh, and there's also a bit of pain uh, in my stomach as well. So I'm just focusing on uh, my stomach. I can feel that my stomach is making some gurgling noises. Um, I can feel it feels quite, my stomach feels quite warm as well. I can feel like um, a center of warmness where the urge seems to be in my stomach. The urge isn't traveling anywhere, it's staying in my stomach. I'm now going to direct my attention to my breath. So I am inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling. And one thing that I notice when using this technique is that although you're not trying to control your breath, when you focus your attention on your breath, nine times out of 10, you will automatically, your breathing will automatically slow down and become a lot calmer. And that really helps with surfing your urges. And I can already feel myself uh, becoming quite calm just by focusing on my breath. So now that I've focused on my breath, I'm now gonna direct my attention back to my body. I can feel the urge is in my body, is in my stomach. I can also feel, it feels like it's trying to make its way up a little bit. I can feel uh, an expectation of chocolate at the back of my throat. So I'm now diverting my attention to the back of my throat and how does that feel? That feels, it feels like the urge is becoming a lot stronger. It feels as though, uh, to me, the urge is kind of kicking back and rebelling against this urge surfing technique. That's what it feels like. Um, so I'm just trying to follow this urge. It's still in the back of my throat. I really feel like I could have some chocolate. If there was a bar of chocolate in front of me, I would be, eating it right now. Luckily there isn't. And I'm really feeling a taste for chocolate now. Like all I want to do is eat some chocolate. And I'm gonna direct my attention back to my breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And I'm now going to direct my attention to my urge. I no longer feel the urge in my throat or in my mouth. I can feel kind of like the, a faintness of the urge in my stomach. So I'm just going to go back to revisit that. The urge feels very low. Um, I don't feel the emptiness, the pain has subsided. So I'm going to end now by uh, following my breathing for a few more seconds. 
inhale, exhale. And that's it, it's as easy as that. You can urge surf anywhere. It's probably advisable not to urge surf while you're driving. The more you practice urge surfing, the easier it will be to ride out your urges and become in control of whatever it is that you may be addicted to. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Whatever it is that you're doing today, have a good one. And remember, please be kind to yourself.